hello. So I'll be using the latest version of Unity and the, it's this version as of today. And also I'll be using universal render pipeline. So basically set up your uh, project and import all the plugins you think you might need. So I've imported Amplify Shader Editor in case I need to create um, some shaders. I've got a BitGem character, which I'm going to go through in a minute. I've got this free mini legion lich character as well. Um, some zombie pack characters. And also I've imported pulse processing uh, package. So ideally you want to go to window package manager. And then if you want to import any unity packages, just switch this to unity registry and type, for example, post-processing as you can see I've got it imported already but you know if you don't then um, I suggest you import this package as I think we'll be using this um, in this project and to be fair you should be using this anyway so um, yeah import post-processing and any other packages that you might want to use uh, for your um, effects so it might be um, some sort of environment package maybe if you'd like to build the environment or any other that you actually have and probably later on we'll be importing camera shake but let's focus on basics for now okay so that's unity done and here are some characters i'll be using Right, so this one is free, so I suggest you start maybe with this one, try to set it up and see if it works for you, and then maybe upgrade to something that is a lot better in terms of uh, quality and animations. Um, what you should be looking for is the character that already got um, animations, uh, just for simplicity. So you can get this one, obviously it's uh, free, so uh, it's got a couple animations and I think it's enough for now. What you could do, just could import the one character, duplicate it and move it across on the other side of the screen and change its color. So that will be your target and the player as well. Um, if you would like to have a different target, then that skeleton might be useful. It's free as well. And uh, that, one, that one comes with the animations as well. Although you, you only need a probably combat idle or idle animation for your target and maybe hit at, as well. So um, basically when your projectile reaches the the target, it, it's got some animation to play. So ideally some sort of die animation or hit animation. This one seems to be pretty cool as well and it's free. Um, so something that you could um, get as well and this is barbarian so it might be a good uh, free asset with animations for the uh, as a target and it's a witch doctor uh, with some animations uh, so I think it might be a good idea to get that one if you want to just explore uh, free assets for now okay what I will be using it's this uh, skeleton from BitGem. Uh, it's got really nice animations, and I used this one um, on my, in my previous work, in my personal uh, VFX, and I really like the style and the animations uh, of this character. And I will import the zombie pack as well, just so I can have a, some sort of target for my um, projectiles. Um, yeah, the most important thing is to look for assets that comes with the animations and make sure the the animations include um, a firing animation, like a cast for uh, wizards or mages, a die animation and hit animation as well, one of those. Um, so basically you could get um, a couple animations to play on your characters. Okay, so let's head to Unity and uh, let's start creating the scene. Um, so as you can see, we've got empty scene, but let's create a fresh scene. So uh, file new and I'm going to create a basic built-in. 
Okay, so let's create floor. So I'm just going to create a plane and I'll probably add 500 scale to it. I'm going to drag the characters into the scene as well. So I'm going to navigate to my mage character, drag it onto the scene. There it is. And also I'm going to use one of the zombie characters. zombie on minus 10 or maybe 10 um, and mage on minus 10 I'm gonna drag my camera as well and position it a little bit better So maybe distance between those two is maybe a little bit too big. So minus eight and eight. Okay, that should be okay. I think the scale of the zombie, it's a little bit, zombie's a little bit too small. So I'm gonna increase his scale to maybe something like 0.5. So it's a, slightly larger than my mage so it looks a little bit intimidating okay so I'm gonna put it on eight distance okay right so I'm gonna rotate both characters so they'll be facing each other oops and I'll just continue with the scene for now I just wanted to create like a, a basic camera angle and both characters to be on the screen. Okay, so now let's go maybe to uh, main camera. And let's disable the background type to be a solid color. And as for the background, let's pick um, the color that is, uh, that is of our plane for now. I'm going to go to uh, my materials directory and create a basic material and I'm going to call it ground. Um, and I'm going to pick dark coral color that is slightly blue-ish. Something like this. I'm going to take my directional light as well and adjust its uh, rotation and direction. So I want basically shadows to be casting that way. And I will go back to my main camera and change the background color to be of, a, uh, of this plane. Uh, material color. I'm gonna head to a rendering tab as well and I'll try to enable fog. I'm gonna pick it to be slightly blue change to be linear as well
okay. Right, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna um, set up my plane and maybe increase it size to maybe something that is very, very large. Right, I don't think that fog is working and I think mainly it doesn't work because it doesn't uh, work on our skybox which is empty so um, maybe later on we'll create a mesh that actually uh, is flat here and it goes up towards the horizon but for now maybe let's turn off the fog so let's head to uh, rendering lightning um, environment and let's just disable um, the fog for now Okay, the next thing is I'm going to select my directional light. I'm just going to um, ramp up intensity to maybe two and change the shadows to be something around 0.7 because I don't want to pitch black shadows. So maybe something that it's uh, 0.7 might work a little bit better. Okay, and now I have to go and just change my uh, ground color a little bit. maybe to something like this and the background as well okay so it looks a little bit closer obviously we're gonna create a very basic setup for now but ideally you want to build the whole environment for those characters so you could replace uh, later what we currently have with some sort of environment as it always um, looks better in your portfolio if you just have a environment built so if you're just starting out and you don't have any projects that you worked on um, then it might be ideal to build the environment which might be something that we're going to do later on but for now let's just focus on um, you know setting up the basic mechanics right so i'm going to select my character and i'm going to lower it to be a little bit closer to the ground maybe something like this i'm just going to double check with the zombie and it seems like zombie is almost on the ground. Okay. Right, so let's maybe stop now and uh, let's explore uh, animations and maybe post process setup and maybe, you know, further scene setup in uh, part two. Okay.